These links are kind of ugly. We've got a little bullet way over here. Yeah, that's no good. So let's add a little style here. So in app CSS, I'm going to tweak, tweak this a wee bit. So for the nav links, list style none, padding left zero, just getting rid of the default style for list items. I am pasting all of this into Slack presently, by the way. For an li that's inside the nav links div, we'll display inline block. So like block elements, it has padding and margin and stuff like that. But like inline, they can appear side by side on the same line. There are no line breaks around them. We'll give it some left and right padding, but no top padding. For a link inside nav links, we'll give it some color. We do not want an underline, which is the default. We'll give it a font size. For one with an active class, we'll make it orange. If you hover over one with an active class, it's yellow. If you hover over one without the active class, it is a darker blue. Let's save that and see if it all happens. Yep, it's orange now. So now you can tell it's active. Very nice. Style. The nav links. And right now, this route is just going to some JSX. We just passed in a render function. But it could go to a real component. So how about we do that instead? So let's make a new component called capital G GitHub dot JS. I will go ahead and make github.css as well. So in my new component, I'm going to make it a class. So I will import React and component from React. This is the CSS file, not the JS file. There you go. I will import dot slash github dot CSS. I will make a class called GitHub that extends component. I'll put in a render function that returns some JSX. And I'll export default GitHub. And so here for the moment, I'll just put h1 github component just to prove that we're doing it. <coughs> so back in app.js, instead of render h1 github, I will say component GitHub, and I'll get a squiggly probably. Ahem. Oh, I know what we didn't do. Yes, lint is not doing its thing. We need to add something in here, right? Yes, lint config. Extends um, let's see what is it? React app. Mm 
Yep, that's right. ESLint's already complaining. So package.json, need to add this to the bottom. ESLint config extends React app. Don't forget the comma on the line above. That way we will get error message as we go along. I am pasting this in Slack. All right, so now it's complaining. GitHub is not there because we need to import it. Import GitHub from dot slash GitHub. No dot JS necessary. And now it says GitHub component instead of GitHub because we are in fact loading it from the component. Doesn't look like much. We can make it look at least a little better. Let's put a GitHub logo in there instead of this great big GitHub component. So I'll put an IMG source. I will paste this link in uh, Slack again so you don't have to hunt down the logo yourself. There we go. Alt text, if that logo doesn't load, I suppose we should say GitHub. Camel case the same way as the logo. And let's add a form to the page. No action necessary, form. Inside the form, let's make a div. Inside the div, let's make an input of type text. Make another div, and inside the div, let's make a button of type submit. And my button will read, look up GitHub user. Huge logo, little bitty form. I'm going to flip over to GitHub CSS, paste in a bunch of CSS, which I will paste in Slack directly. Nothing too tricky here. I do use the trick with 80% margin zero auto. That means zero margin on the top and bottom, auto on the left and right, which if it's less than 100% width, will center it. If the left and right margins are both auto. My image should have a class name of logo too. That's how my CSS is written. Class name of logo. Right, isn't it? Nope, it's GitHub logo. I'm gonna change that. There you go. Cool. So add GitHub component, add and style, GitHub component. 